We're here with Representative Lillian Ortiz Self with the 21st District. How are you doing? It's the first week of session. Thank you. I am doing great. We've done such hard work during the interim and I'm so excited to be back to be able to implement some of that wonderful feedback I got from my community. This week you've introduced a couple of important bills that you're going to be working on very hard. One of them is about school counselors. Yes, it is. I want to thank everyone who met with me during the interim, parents who took off of work and, and met with me late at night, and, and just people that were really concerned about our children in our community. One of the things I continue to hear about is the social and emotional needs of our kids in school. And unfortunately, we've had some horrible tragedies across the state of Washington. And so the first bill I dropped this session on the very first day was a bill to look at the demand for more support in our schools that will encompass all the social and emotional and mental health needs that our children have and give us a better idea of what are we lacking, where is it needed, and what we can do to make a difference to support our children. And then another issue that you were looking at during the interim was an environmental issue regarding pesticides. Yes, because I also met with some wonderful advocates and people who really care about leaving this world much better than they found it. Air quality is so important. And so I have a pesticide drift bill that I also dropped on the first day. And that bill is going to give us a central database across the state of Washington so that everyone can have access and know what pesticides are being used in what areas across the state. I was really surprised to hear that we didn't have that data collected. And you know, we have a lot of medically fragile children and adults and I think that's very important information for our public to have. So it's a public safety and environmental issue and uh, I was really happy to drop that also on the first day. Talk to us a little bit about transportation. Last year we passed a huge transportation package. Yes we did. I was so glad because to me it's not just about transportation although that is vital. It's also about jobs and that transportation package is going to bring hundreds and hundreds of jobs to the area and hundreds of jobs to Snohomish County. So I was really excited. We got a very strong package for the Snohomish County area. So we will continue to work on that. One of the things that I am trying to push is we've got quite a few millions of dollars for Snohomish County for the Highway 99 project, but it's going to come to us in six years. I am trying to see if we can release some of those dollars earlier and in smaller increments so that we can continue the great work that we've already started. Thank you for your time and we'll see you next week. Thank you and I look forward to keeping you updated. Thank you very much.